places that are a little bit less traveled. Now that's sort of what this video is all about, as you'll see. What do you got? A Hanoi? Roy? Okay, just some bog standard shrimp fried rice. Kun put angry D mark! Ma. Hello. This place is lovely, isn't it? Low season, go figure. A few folks around. Just wow. Nothing more to add, really. Let's go. Welcome to a new event and welcome to Surintani. <laughs> Where are we off to, you might ask. Stay tuned, all will be revealed. Kosamui, Kopangan, Komantong. You'll see. A wee bit overcast today, but that's all right. It's the rainy season, we'll take it. <laughs> you can see off to our left there, the signature limestone karst jutting out. This intersection here is crucial. You can either turn left here to go to the ferry to Koh Samui, or, well, we'll see other options upcoming. Straight or left to the ferry pier. We'll take a left here. Okay, here we are at the starting off point of our adventure, the old Raja Ferry Port. There you go, Raja Ferry Port to Koh Samui. There's a happy busload of new arrivals or departures, one or the other. They're going to take the pan tip bus into probably to the train station and miss an entire coast here that they know nothing about, unfortunately. Now that's sort of what this video is all about, as you'll see. Let's get on the beach and we'll get a better lay of the land, shall we? ferry and you're looking for a place to stay this wouldn't be a bad place to hang out as you can see we've got some grass trimmers at work there they're a nice job and look at this picturesque little beach here see cute little place right there like little cafe there look at that beautiful beach that probably one in 1,000 people that have ever been to Samui ever set foot on. We're going to do that right now. Chile Beach Bar and Restaurant right there. Those look pretty chill. A few people sat there. The reason why I'm going down here is it kind of fits with the theme of the video. Going to places that are a little bit less traveled. Kinds of little concessions here. Okay, let's go up to the other end of the beach here. Ooh, for sale beach villa. This is skinny here. There's the details for you. I wonder if it's Chinote. Interesting. Imagine having a beachfront lot right beside the ferry that goes to Koh Samui. So you could be in Samui in no time. Or there's loads to explore on the mainland here as well. And none of the crowds. Perfect. And here's the Lonely Beach Cafe. Doesn't look all that lonely. Just have a quick look, shall we? The Chef Beach Cafe. What do you got? Oh, look at their food. It looks off the hook. Fantastic. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Very tempting. <laughs> Coffee's not going to set you back too much. 45 baht for an espresso. Pizza and all sorts. They're not giving away, but it's right on the beach, isn't it? A little time, but you get the idea. It's the ferry port over there. Kids enjoy. Got a private beach. It's alive. Chef Beach Cafe. Very chefy. Nice spot. Okay, let's go to the other end of the beach here. Look at that bike rentals right there, it says. This place is like an ecosystem unto itself here. This little bay. There's another lovely little hotel. 
Here you go, welcome to Nankam Beach, signified by the pink dolphins. What's that one called? Omale. That looks nice too, doesn't it? Bike rentals, look at these little motels here. Jampa Resort. Even more places on the beach here. This looks more local style. Let's check this out. Let's have a look. Maybe grab a quick bite to eat while we're here. Okay, wish it was sunny, but it's the rainy season, I'll take it. <laughs> Ty's enjoying themselves, why not? What do you got? A Hanna Roy? Yeah, this'll do. You can see the Raja Ferry just over there. Again, the limestone jutting up to the sky. Very dramatic, I love it. Yeah, Kelpak Gung, Kadao Masuk. Come, come. Low tide, but gem of a little spot, yeah. And here's my Sanak. Come, come. One more, Kap. Nung Mak. Om Chom Pad. Okay, just some bog standard shrimp fried rice with Creek Nam Pla. Fish sauce. Two for me, as so I like it spicy. Okay, just in case you doubted me, I put it all on. <laughs> now we can eat. And done. All right, let's go down and have a look at this beach, shall we? And look what we have here. A beach that hasn't been phalanged out yet. <laughs> lovely. Somebody's engraved some lovely sentiments in the sand about this spot or the person they're with or both. More sleeping dogs. <laughs> Here's a friendly dog. Hi. What's his name? Ma. Hello. How are you, baby? Huh? Nom like milk. Sha nom. Yeah. Sha like tea and nom like milk. I was thinking kanom, like sweet dessert. Similar. What name is a Dutchin? Puts on. Puts on. Flower. flower. Tell me about this beach. Do you come here very often to this oh, beach? This is our first time. Actually, we are used to live in Melbourne. In Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. I thought you had an inter accent. Inter. <laughs> yeah. Dashing, dashing. Oh, here we go. It's on. <laughs> Dogs are loving it. I love these little enclave type places carved out of the back of a bay. Nice, yeah? So this little beach kind of exemplifies the reason for this vid. Places like Gosamui and Phuket and Bali and Porto Vallarta to Portugal are becoming overcrowded, overpriced, and overdeveloped. Uh, places like this still exist, thank goodness. And th here it's within eye shot of thousands of people leaving on the ferry to Gosamui every day. And just over those mountains and along the coast in the mainland is a wonderful place called Kanom that I had the pleasure of being quote unquote stuck on during COVID. And it's never ever gotten out of my head how beautiful and sedate Kanom is. There's that first place, the chef place. Wonderful little spot. I mean, just look at this beach. And there goes yet another boatload of people to Gosamui. <laughs> there you go. Go pee pee, crowds. Gosamui, well, depending where you are, they can be crowded. And of course the ferry pier over there and our own little pier right here. Okay, let's get a better lay of the land from above. Here we go. I was hoping to fly higher to give you a better lay of the land, but due to air, due to airspace restrictions, cannot. Understandably, no problem. 
Yeah, I really wanted to get up above those mountains, but you get the lay of the land. Oh, I'd love to see one of these rooms. Well, actually, we can see. We don't need to go in. We can just have a look. Yeah, they look lovely. And this would be their balcony. It's like Jampa Resort. Wow, what a little gem. This place is lovely, isn't it? Right, next. What a gem of a little spot, yeah? I hate to leave. Beautiful driving through all these little hamlets, little villages. Love it. Okay, Suratani, 70 kilometers, Nakhon Sea Tamarat, 110. I should probably put up a map to show you exactly where we're going, and I'll do that now. Just off the road here, just noticed a real local market. Let's go have a quick look. <laughs> Beautiful produce, yeah? Tell I keep noon kilo cup. Okay, come cup. Butcher's dog, always happy. More pork vendors. You know, years ago when I moved to Hua Hien, 20 years ago, all we had was a wet market back then. And it was very much like this. And of course, Tesco Lotus evolved and Big C and everything else. Back in the day, this is very much how it was. You went to the wet market and you got your beef and you tell the guy to grind it twice and add a little bit, little bit more fat and maybe choose this piece or choose that piece. And that's just the way it was. Body cup. Pet, pet. <laughs> now go Aroi. Spicy but delicious. The old country market, nice looking mangoes there. Talaika? 75 by half kilo. Half kilo? Yeah. Your English is very good. Kun put angry D mark. Can see some of 25 baht. What's that, like 70 cents or something? Yeah, I think I'm good. There you go, village roadside market. road again. Okay, no more stops, I promise. By the way, down that road that we just turned down is a, the most amazing bay and little village, and I'll show you that maybe in an upcoming bit. See, we're approaching the intersection for the turn to Kanom. You can see all the signs, different resorts. This is sort of the outer edge of Kanom village. There's actually two villages. Sleepy little Kanom. It's been a while. I was down here what was going to be a weekend, then I got an email saying that there's there's been a lockdown in Bangkok, and I thought, do I want to go back in Bangkok, or would I rather be here at the beach? <laughs> I'll show you more of Kanom Village in an upcoming vid. There's Main Street, but we're going to go straight through to the beach. There's a beach road and a second road. Actually, I'll put up a map showing you that right now. Beach Road. In 300 meters, turn right. You can see the beach over the road there. If we went straight across, you can see the ocean there. It's 
So again, the beach is to our left, about 100 meters or so. Summer Beach, Canome Beach Resort and Spa. We'll be seeing all these places and more upcoming, hopefully on a sunnier day. Okay, and here's where I am staying, Bamboo Resort, same place I stayed at during COVID. Not one of them. Some will know the innkeeper here from the Netflix series, The Serpent. I just know her as Nadine, lovely lady. To friends. Let's go in. Le Bamboo Resort. <laughs> Bonjour. Long time no see, you look fantastic. Yeah. You look good. I don't feel too bad. Good. You even remember my old room number. Yes. And you have that room available? Yes. Perfect. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful to see Nadine. By the way, there's a swimming pool right in there. I'll show you that in a bit. And I think I can park right in here. Nice little bungalows. Bamboo Resort. Give for Miss Nadine. Oh, Nadine. And Kun. Okay. Kim Cow. Choke you up. And again, all these places all have different configurations. Even a, a kitchenette, which we shall see. And here's our wee pool. It's not a large pool, but it's deep enough. Good to cool off. And you've got the big pool after all. Right there. <laughs> 12. All right, my place is over here. This brings back memory as well. Yep, exactly as I remember it. Perfect. <laughs> I was very, very comfortable here for quite some time. I'm happy to be back, I might add. Good sized bed. Aircon, which was very cold as I recall. Small TV and had a few channels, if I recall. Little kitty corner sea view right there. And if you don't like aircon or you prefer fans sometimes, they have that option as well. Fridge and kettle. Coffee, tea, the usual, and the home nav. Bathroom, separated so you don't get water all over the floor. Nice hot shower, if I recall. Yeah, all in all, just as I remember, lovely little bungalows here. Absolute little charmers. Oh, before I forget, I should put the price on the screen. I'll do that now. Let's have a quick look at It's right there. <laughs> okay, I'm given the keys to show you the big room. Let's have a look, shall we? Room M, by the way. Wow, very nice. Certainly is larger. Nice lounge area, full kitchen, got a fan as well. And we've got a secondary room here with two beds, and another fan and an aircon. Nice. Back into the lounge, the living room. Nice good sized TV, a little bit of artwork. Hong Nam. Nice separated rain shower. Nice and neat and clean. And the master. Again with the fan and aircon. The view from the other side. Nice big wardrobe there. And in the kitchen we have just about everything you'd need to cook. Two burner hob stove, microwave, fridge, table and extra stools. I like this. <laughs> and the price of this lovely suite, I'll put it on the screen for you now. Very nice. gazebo there, little resort next door, and a condo. We'll have a look at that in an upcoming video as well. CC's resort next door. Okay, we're in the low rainy season. There's, there's just not a lot of people around. CC's also has a good grub and grog. And a nice little beachside 
bar shack, which I quite like. And here is lovely Nadan Beach. This beach, I believe, is about eight kilometers long, something like that, five miles. As you can see, it's a gorgeous beach, even on an overcast day in rainy season. Some more resorts down the way there. Take a look at the water. <laughs> see how crystal clear that water is? Beautiful, huh? Looking back at CC's. And let's walk down the beach. Just me and a few footprints. I always laugh when some people say in my comments, I wouldn't want to stay there. There's no people. <laughs> well, for me, that's one of the main attractions, really. <laughs> All kinds of little boutique resorts along here. And this is Poopats, if I recall. Excellent Thai food and seafood and Western food. Excellent food is what I'm saying. <laughs> nice wee pool there. Looks like they're just putting the finishing touches on some sweets here. They're gonna be sweet sweets too with that view. Pop up in the deck. Just effing wow. <laughs> it just doesn't get better than this. Actually it kind of does. Wait till we go on the road from here to Sichon and also Nye Plow just around the corner. You'll see. Okay, let's get a better look at that view Take from off. above. Find the tree. <laughs> Safely down. Anyways, what an absolutely idyllic, lovely spot, especially contrasted with what's becoming of my beloved Copenhagen and Kosamui just over there. Sofas is the name of the restaurant, by the way, at Pupat Resort or Pupat Beach Resort and Restaurant. Okay. Just wow. Nothing more to add, really. We are back at CC's little oasis on the beach. We'll be coming back here later. Right now I gotta do a little bit of editing. These things don't edit themselves. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Part of the one some French people. Now back to mine. Well, by the way, that's my fifty thousand baht, fifteen hundred dollar cheap but cheerful ride. Got down here from Hawaii, no problem. Well, it's the same cost as a motorbike so I got that instead. Okay. Hey, I'm home. <laughs> Time to get a little editing done. See you in a bit. Two hours later. Okay, taking a little break from editing. Let's go next door to CC's and grab a beverage, shall we? By the way, I was on a 7-Eleven run earlier. Big rainstorm, so I grabbed some roadside chicken. Maybe I'll insert that. It's raining, and I saw this place on the side of the road in Canole. Nugroy. Half place. I'll be having that. How juicy does that look? Wow. Whoa. Huh? Okay. Well, that's my dinner sorted. Cup, come on, cup. Bye bye, cup. And here we go. Off to CC, sort of the local local. I just want a post editing drink. What do you got?
สวัสดีครับเจี๊ยบซาบุคะซาบุคะเคาซีดอมอ๋อผมเห็น yes yes great I just เกาเนมแข็ง thank you so this is the little local 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 expats seem to hang out here CC's convivial little place what you didn't see is there was a hellacious rainstorm here earlier so I'm surprised there's anybody out of course it's cleared up now there's a pretty swish resort just down the beach there I'll, maybe I'll show you that later ah cup cup <laughs> thank you <laughs> You folks are on. Hello, ครับ. Okay, thank you. Oh, you've got people in the dining room over here. Okay, let's go down the beach to the next place and have a look. So that's CC's at night. Let's go to this. Semi-swish place next door, shall we? At the beach, all to herself. Nice. A few more people walking on the beach. Where are all these people coming from? Oh, I hear music. See people. First thing I should show you is they've got beautiful suites at this place. There you go. How lovely is that? Look at these suites. One of their swish dining room slash bars. Even the alcohol p o m e d it in. And it is just only our spacious, but uh, this one is so out. <laughs> okay. Normally it's n e s e on outside as well. It is raining. Yeah, we had a big rain today, yes. didn't we? Yes. Okay, Kun Wan is insisting I look at the menu. Why not? Have a look. Got a b o l d i m o r e game going on. Ah. Maybe you take a seat to take a look. Sure. Oh, everything from sandwiches to burgers. Sorry. Homemade pasta. Yeah, except with the spaghetti, <laughs> meat to the l i s lamb, s and oh, tenderloin. Okay, there we go. See you again. Um, yeah, thank you. You're okay. Welcome. Thank you. Personal guy. Oh, night volleyball going on. And this place is called Yotaka. Another swish dining room here, Yotaka. What do you got? Another lovely resort. And as you can see, people on that balcony, that balcony. I don't see anybody all day. Then suddenly, <laughs> but then this is a very Thai resort, right? And Thais don't generally. You're not going to catch Thais walking on the beach in the in the heat of the day like mad dogs and Englishmen in the odd well Canuck like me. What the heck? Again. Low season, go figure. Wow! Not only do you have your own suite, look, they've even got an upstairs. Yotaka. Beautiful looking dining room, yeah. I get the feeling that the ties that stay here, they definitely have some money. <laughs> so it was a very brief look at a couple of local swish resorts. We'll head back up the beach to my neck of the woods, and here we are back to my stretch of sand. Right, I think that's a good place to call it a night. So, thanks for coming along today. Lots more coming up in this series, including rentals, other beaches, spectacular coastal drives, and an, even a beach reggae festival. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Just wow. Nothing more to add, really.